How's it going YouTube? Tyler the Hotshot Hauler here. Going to be making an oil filter comparison video for all you uh, 5, 9, and 6, 7 uh, Cummins guys. Um, so many of you guys out there are like me and you run either 5, 9s or 6, 7s and um, you want to put the best oil filter you can on your engine. Um, the reason why I picked these three brands, Donaldson, Baldwin, and Caterpillar is because um, I believe, and this is my opinion, that these three makers make the best oil filters available on the market. Um, so uh, note for this video, I'm not going to be tearing apart these filter medias and measuring stuff and stuff like that. I'm going to show you a in-depth breakdown of each oil filter and, um, and uh, that'll be it. And then I'll give you my opinion at the end. So first off, we're going to start here with the Donaldson DBL 7349. This oil filter is the Donaldson Blue Line. Um, what the Donaldson Blue Line is, is it, it's a better rating of filter than the white line. So this oil filter is rated 99% efficient at 15 microns. Got that information directly from Donaldson and their website. Okay. Um, and um, this oil filter is a really nice oil filter. I mean, you know, it has a nice uh, synthetic material. This is a synthetic. Anytime you see a white material, it's... Uh, I've always seen it to be a synthetic media, which is always better than, you know, the standard, like, uh, uh, paper towel type media. Um, has the standard, you know, the metal inside, yada, yada, yada. And it has their, um, their uh, drain back valve is uh, installed. I mean, it, yeah, just simple drain back valve. Um, so that's that one, pretty basic. Um, it's has the same top piece as the white series. It's identical. There's there's no difference in that. They're identical. There's different colors on that. Um, the springs, spring on the other end of the filter. Same Donaldson spring that's in the white version. Um, it's it, it feels the same. It looks the same. All that jazz. Just a little bit of a different color. Um, okay, moving on to the Donaldson P558615. This oil filter is rated 99% at 40 microns. So you go from 15 microns to 40 microns um, and you pay a couple dollars more. Um, the one thing I did forget to add though, the only thing that I really don't like about these Donaldson ones is their casings are so thin. So the one from the blue, um, it literally it literally feels thinner than the one from the white. Uh, the, the white case literally feels thicker than the blue. Uh, maybe I'm just feel, feeling things, and I guess I could get out a a, a micrometer, but uh, it definitely they these the, these casings are just kind of really flimsy. That's the only thing I don't like about uh, Donaldson oil filters. I don't really like their their uh, casings very much. But anyways, moving on. Um, this design is identical to the Blue series. Um, it has the same anti drain back mechanism. Same. And the filter is the same, design, metal and all, minus the material. Filter material is your standard hard paper material. Um, I mean, yeah, it just, just feels like a standard oil filter. There's nothing special about this one. Um, like I said, though, the micron rating on this one is significantly higher, and that boils down to the filter media right there. Okay? For, for, for this instance. Moving on to the Baldwin BT7349. This oil filter is rated at 12 microns is nominal and 30 microns it is an absolute oil filter. So it actually has better ratings than this Donaldson. Um, they're set up for Baldwin on the bottom side. Here's their spring. It's a, it's a small spring but it is strong. Very very strong springs. Um, the casing is thicker than, than the Donaldson, I mean, clearly thicker. And the filter is a standard Baldwin oil filter. I mean, metal all around, not a synthetic material, but they are tried and true with their ratings and their quality. Baldwin makes really good oil filters. Okay, and then they got their standard plastic don't mind the stuff being broken that was from me it didn't come that way that was from a uh, improper handling so 
Standard Baldwin oil filter. Great choice, solid company, stuff like that. Now here is the highlight of this video. And what I mean by that is this Caterpillar oil filter, 3964596, is not a Caterpillar oil filter. And what I mean by that, and I'll explain it real briefly in this video, but I will attach a link in the description for a whole separate video I made about this. Um, now, many guys out there in the, in the 5967 community run these oil filters on their trucks, and they are overpaying for an oil filter because this is a, an imposter oil filter that is in a Caterpillar casing. And um, I will show you real quick what the standard is for a Caterpillar oil filter. I have a whole video on it that goes in depth. This is a standard for a Caterpillar oil filter. They have their patented twine that wraps the filter media, and they have an all plas uh, plastic and composite inside. There's no metal in Caterpillar oil filters. And they have this, and, it, and it's like a rubbery silicone uh, uh, covers for, the, for both ends. Very flexible. It's a completely patented design. Now, how do I know that? Well, before I became a hot shotter, I was a heavy equipment uh, a diesel mechanic for my local Caterpillar dealer. Okay, um, like I said, a whole video for that is in the description. Um, if you're interested on to how this is not a Caterpillar oil filter, please watch that. Now, this filter was bought from my previous employer, my local Caterpillar dealer. It wasn't bought off the internet, it was bought directly from Caterpillar. So, um, now, why did I, how did I come to this finding? Well, when I went to look up for the Micron ratings for this oil filter, I could find nothing. And whenever you find, whenever you cannot find micron ratings for an oil filter, I will tell you they are they are hiding something, or there is some reason why you cannot find it. That should be common knowledge to any oil filter manufacturer that they should share publicly if they're proud of their product. Okay, when you can't find micron ratings for an oil filter, stay away from that oil filter. Well, this oil filter, and I'm not a scientist here, but. I'm not a detective or anything like that, but I will tell you, minus the bottom ass end that I have completely cut off for a different video, this oil filter looks identical to this bald one. Now, when I mean identical, I mean literally it is identical. The top piece, everything, this is a Baldwin signature piece, is this plastic right here. That is a signature Baldwin thing. Now, I've heard rumors over the years that... Baldwin makes Caterpillar filters, Donaldson makes Caterpillar filters. The reality is, is I don't care who makes them, but I know from my schooling and my experience and everything like that that Caterpillar has very, very um, specific standards for their filtration. Um, and I never actually installed this oil filter part number on any piece of Caterpillar equipment, so I have no idea what it actually goes to. Um, that's I, I, I literally only used about eight oil filters in my career and this was not one of them so um, that I don't have a reason as to why this is not the Caterpillar standard to the Caterpillar standard um, but these filters are identical now I don't have any micron ratings for this Caterpillar one because it wasn't available I couldn't find them if somebody can find them and legit not just a forum uh, and put them in the comment section I'd be grateful I'm sure a lot of us would but moving on um, to the Caterpillar spring. The spring is very, very similar to the Baldwin. Now I will say that the spring for the Baldwin is a stronger spring. It is definitely a stronger spring than the Caterpillar. I, I will, that is the only difference I notice in these filters. The, the top gasket plates are identical like same whole lineup they even mesh together 100 I mean even the the groove around the outside lip is identical just different colors red versus yellow paint so the only difference in these filters that I see is these springs the caterpillar spring is um, a little bit less strong than the Baldwin spring and that could also just be for manufacturing um, so but yeah so guys overall I mean me I've always been a big uh, caterpillar guy um, and I would run caterpillar if it was a legit caterpillar filter but I will not run this caterpillar oil filter 
on my 6.7. Baldwin would definitely be my second choice. Um, I've run Baldwin on my 5.9 for years, and I love Baldwin filters. They make fantastic oil filters, fuel filters, all that jazz. Great company, great filtration, quality filtration. Of the Donaldson, I would obviously run the blue because for a couple dollars more, you get a synthetic oil filter that um, has a higher micron rating. It, it's, a, it's a better filter. It's more resistant to wear and tear. It is a... Um, just a, a better product and you're paying more for it you're paying a few dollars more so um, usually you can get them these blue ones run about 20 to 21 bucks a piece I think 20 to 22 dollars a piece I'd say is pretty accurate right now and uh, the white ones are usually about 18 I believe so you're paying a little bit more overall though my choice would be this Donaldson blue 7349 for the 5967 Cummins um, if you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe um, any comments, questions, anything like that, don't hesitate to throw them in the comment section. Uh, and uh, if you are interested in learning more about Caterpillar oil filters, follow the link in the description to the video about this imposter filter versus the real Caterpillar oil filter. So guys, thank you for watching again, and if you enjoyed, please subscribe. Thank you.